a miracle. Nobel Peace Prize winner Dr. Dennis McWiggy is helping heal his nation's deepest wound. Dennis McWiggy never intended to become Dr. Miracle and award winner gynecologist. He grew up in he grew up in the Democratic Republic of Congo as a preacher's kid. In fact, it was visiting the sick with his father that inspired him become a become a doctor in the first place. This country has this country has endured more than two decades of conflict, and countless women had su- suffered wars, warring for control of this country's gold and precious mineral deposits. Rebel groups had brutally attacked this region women. During the last decade, the DRC had actually been can be been yes. described as the as the rapid capit, capit, ca, capital capital the of the of the world. Uh, one study found that forty eight women are the rapid every hours in this country. One man stands strong against this trauma and had done so for more than 20 years. He first set up Pansy Hospital, originally made of tents in 1998. After losing the hospital, after losing the hospital, the same year in the crossfire of the Second Concord War, McWaygate rebuilt the following year. Since then, Pensit Hospital had grown to become a major health facility. There, McWaygate re- report, re- reportedly cares for the more than 3,500 women a year, sometimes performing as many as 10 operations a day. After years after years, McWiggy put his life on the line to help injured women. In 2012, McWiggy's devo- devotion to this cause was tested. After experiencing an uh, assass- assass- uh, assassination mm. attempt, attempt and having his daughter bri- briefly held hostage, his and, he and his family fled to safety in, the, in Sweden and and then to the build, build Belgium. However, stand to the uh, campaign by local Congolese women raised fund for uh, the return ticket. This this daughter was able to go home. Although Mark Wiggy once again recite Cong- Recite the DRC, <coughs> but <coughs> but he he. So oh, no, we are just He is forced to live inside. He is. He is forced to live inside the hospital. He is forced to live. Forced. Yes. Yes, forced to live inside the hospital. Under the protection of UN peacekeepers, last year when oper- while operating in hospital, 
Mark Wigget heard the news that he, along with Nadia Murray, had been awarded 2018 Nobel Peace Prize. This prize centers on acknowledging their efforts to end to end the use of sexual violence as a as a weapon of war. He a has he a daughter and her and mm. and she and a, a ragged human rights act activist. Who, su- who suffered the same way that so many McWiggy pen- pensions have to inspire everyone to take a stand for the peace for the McWiggy. When I, when I see how strong women are, all the might insp- inspiration come from them. Winning Peace Prize could be the first step toward an end an end to violence an end to violence against women.